Matthew Sullivan then. I think that's a bit cruel, isn't it? A bit unfair to say she's cost some millions. But welcome to the programme, mate. G'day, Martin. How's it going? Yeah, really good. We spent a lot of time covering this last week and it raised all kinds of questions about... You know, cutting your nose off to spite your face, uh, player power, um, you know, just corporate dollars versus social conscience, all of those things. And I suppose a lot of a lot of those questions have now been put to bed by the very fact that Netball Australia has secured the sponsorship, or have they? Does it does it necessarily mean that these issues aren't going to be issues with such a high profile anymore? Yeah, this um, the news yesterday that Netball Australia had signed. Uh, a big deal with Visit Victoria, which is um, the state of Victoria's kind of government tourism body, if you will, um, is great news for the sport. And it's the same dollar amount that um, Hancock Prospecting had committed before they pulled out. So effectively, um, the Victorian government saved Netball Australia's bottom line. But um, as you said, this, this is going to be an ongoing issue, not just for netball, but sports in general with um, uh, growing player power and players wanting their, their social social values to align with the sponsors that are sponsoring their team. And I think it's uh, it's been put to bed somewhat um, in netball, but yeah, it's gonna, across all sports, this is gonna, not going to go away. First and foremost then, I mean, this deal has come about really quickly after Gina Reinhardt withdrew uh, Hancock prospecting sponsorship. Was it in the pipeline before all of this erupted or not? Uh, not, not that I know of. Um, I think... The Victorian government, um, and it's uh, not just Melbourne, but Victoria, and they've, they've got a history of hosting lots of different major sporting events in Australia. If you think of the Boxing Day Test Match, uh, the Melbourne Cup, which is on today, the Australian Open Tennis Grand Slam in Jan- January. So they, they pr- pride themselves on kind of being the quote-unquote sporting capital of Australia. So they saw, they saw this opening effectively in the market, and with a, they, there's also an, a state election coming up next month, which is... a uh, happy coincidence um, that they've kind of pledged these dollars to, to netball and um, kind of save the sport. So I, I think I think the state government came kind of sweep, swooping in after all the Hancock stuff um, went down. So I think it was all very fortuitous for netball. Yeah, because, I mean, this is a sport that we know has struggled to attract sponsorship to this level in terms of the, of the, of the dollars. So, I mean, you know, this is the best possible news for not only Netball Australia, but also for those players, isn't it? Because the players took a stance, and whether you agree with it or not, the fact is is that the result of that stance meant that the sport could have been in absolute financial peril. So is it a big sigh of relief, first and foremost? Is that the reaction that you've had? I think so. I think for, uh, for Netball Australia, the sports governing body, it's to be able to find the replacement with, for the same uh, financial amount is just a huge relief and so quickly. And as you said, it's a relief for the players to have that um, security and then be kind of backed up that if they take a stand, um, the, the governing body will kind of try and stick by them or fi- find a replacement and they won't be hung out to dry um, too much. Um, so, yeah, it's very it's very good for netball, which, also, which as you said, um, is a is a tier two sport like to be blunt in Australia behind the footy codes and cricket so and they've just changed um, broadcasters to to Fox uh, in the last year from a free to air broadcaster um, so it's in a little bit of a transition um, netball in Australia at the moment the Diamonds have got a new coaching captain and they're in this kind of new period of heading towards the World Cup in South Africa next year so the more stability um, on and off the court the, the better for netball I think uh, I don't want to be <clears throat> cheeky about this but. If you dig deep into history and, 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 and look at you know the way that Aboriginal people have been treated in Australia since settlers first arrived, even Victoria has got instances of horrific abuse and horrific crimes being committed. So I, I guess the, you know, the question is, how deep do you dig on these things? Because on the surface, I mean, it's, it, it, it looks fantastic. Visit Victoria and all of that. But there's never really been an acknowledgement of any of what has happened in the past is that relevant as well i suppose what i'm trying to say here when it comes to this particular sponsorship uh not this new deal no i think there was a, well there was some hope that hancock prospecting or gina reinhardt when all the controversy was going down uh, a couple of weeks ago that um that gina reinhardt may have come out publicly to distance herself or condemn her father lang hancock's comments i think there there was some appetite for that in 
the Australian public, absolutely. Um, that, didn't, that didn't happen, and there's a little bit of debate about whether Gina Reinhart is obliged to do that, or if she's uh, if, because the company's still attached to her father's name, or is she her own woman? She she doesn't need to um, she doesn't need to be associated with those comments. There's debate on either side of that, but I think um, yeah, I think sports um, dealing with um, with Hancock may have to uh, deal with that in the future. But I don't think uh, there's too much too much issue with this new deal with um, with Visit Victoria. No. What has been the general reaction from Australians and also Australian sports fans, Australian netball fans, to what happened? Were they were they highly supportive of 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 uh, Danelle Wellam and 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 the players, or were they more in a position of saying, "Hey, look, we understand that," but at the same time, you know, you're talking about a fifteen million dollar sponsorship, which is awfully hard to secure, and so there's got to be a balance somewhere. What was what was the general feeling? Yeah, the opinion was pretty pretty harshly divided, I would say. Around, among the hardcore netball nuffy fans, as I, as I call them, um, there was a lot of support for the Diamond and Danelle Wallam and for them taking a stand. But among the uh, the masses, uh, the Australian public, who may not watch a netball game and just uh, feel the need to comment away on social media and uh, kind of spout their opinion, they lots of lots of people absolutely slammed the netballers. They, they thought... Um, Lots of people thought it was a big deal over over not much, and it was uh, a kind of a, a big step to throw away this massive sponsorship lifeline of fifteen million dollars from from Hancock over um, what some people think are historical comments. Um, but and then so I think there was there was a lot of divided opinion. A lot of a lot of Australian sport fans think um, players should just shut up and play. I, I don't I don't agree with that opinion, but. Um, I think we're coming to a bit of a reckoning in sport at the moment and also in Australia in the last couple of weeks we've seen the um, our cricket captain Pat Cummins kind of uh, express his concerns about our, our major sponsorship with uh, Cricket Australia and which is Alinta Energy and an energy company because uh, his, of his concerns about climate change and then we've had a football team Fremantle Dockers in our AFL um, they've had a group of um, kind of backers uh, criticised their major sponsorship, which is Woodside um, Energy, which is a mining company. So I think um, a lot of there's definitely a, a difference of opinion. A lot of um, just your average sports fans think players have to have the pri- privilege to play professional sport. They should have no voice or opinion whatsoever. But I think there is a growing growing minority of of the public that believe um, these players have a right to speak up for what they believe in. Matt Sullivan out of Sydney for news.com.au sports reporter there. And also let's not forget um, the very public statement made by the Socceroos on route uh, on route to Qatar uh, about LBGB and 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 our support for the rainbow community which you know uh, interesting and fascinatingly enough the Qatari authorities actually approved of that one the day I mean after you know okay condemning all of those supposed lifestyle choices and behavior is this reflective now look it's a generational thing Matt I'm a lot older than you and I just think that you know the younger generation I mean you know people feel strongly about things like we did back in the day as well and probably still do but also because of the social mat- media platforms have an ability to voice want to voice and, and I suppose want to tell the world and to tell their fans that they're not just monotoned athletes then you know they aren't programmed robots that they do think and feel about other things but as you say that then actually sort of you know causes consternation among some groups of fans who decide that hey you are there just to play sport but i suppose the same question could be put to yourself isn't it i mean as a reporter are you allowed to have an opinion about these things yourself or do you just have to write the fact and and kind of remove your own personal feeling uh i i try to stay factual and remove my opinion from the story the stories I write especially with the um, controversy over the the Nepal Hancock prospecting deal it's uh, it's complica- complicated and uh, a bit gray area gray area enough for, for, without clouding it with my um, opinion but when I speak to people like yourself I'm I think I'm allowed to have an opinion and I think um, my personal opinion is good on the diamonds for sticking by to Nell Wallen Gina Reinhardt probably should have come out and condemned her um, father's comments. She's got every right not to, but um, that's probably, probably my view. And I think good on Netball for finding a new sponsor.